Okay, so the first thing that we want to discuss is what exactly we mean when we talk about leash reactivity. And most of you out there uh, probably know exactly what this is already, but specifically what I'm referring to is the dog who, when they are on a leash, has a very hard time handling when they see other dogs or other people approaching, passing by, or even sometimes off in the distance. And what often results is very explosive behavior, barking, lunging, sometimes you know extreme whining. And so this is what we mean when we say leash reactive dogs, essentially dogs who react to things in the environment in a very explosive way, specifically when they are on a leash. And one of the early discussions of this is how is this different from dog aggression? And this is a really important thing to understand. And one thing that virtually any uh, dog daycare owner, kennel owner uh, might be able to tell you is that they have dogs who when they come in to the facility and they're on a leash are very explosive and very reactive but as soon as they get into the daycare center, can run around off leash and have no problem with other dogs. So true dog aggression and leash reactivity are actually categorically separate issues. They sometimes are related to each other, meaning there are times where a dog is both leash reactive and dog aggressive, but in many cases, they're separate. So in many cases, we have dogs who are very, very leash reactive, but off leash can handle it without much of a problem at all. So when we talk about dog aggression, one thing that's important is that usually we're implying some sort of intent. And what we mean by that is that the dog actually has the intention of hurting, harming, or injuring another dog. And oftentimes, and we're gonna discuss this in more detail in a moment, dogs who are leash reactive do not have that intent. Their goal is not actually to get into a fight. So a dog who is dog aggressive, when we make that classification, what we mean is a dog who is actually attempting to fight, that's their goal. And what we actually find is that those dogs are exceedingly rare. And in fact, most people, even professionals, will never actually encounter a truly dog aggressive dog in their career. Although oftentimes it is difficult to distinguish between the two if you don't know what you're looking for. 